Hello, hello, football fans. Welcome to another exciting episode of In Touch with the Legend. Yes, this is your favorite footballing show where we bring you Zimbabwe footballing legend to come here on the show to share with us their footballing journey. My name is Alois Munjira and this show is proudly powered by Inyaradzo Group. Yes, today in the studio we've got a legend of the legends. Yes, we are in the city of Bulawayo, Koltut. Jo Patiri kuna kuka tu kuta ora nawa Cosmas Zulu kuna vaziwa kuna Cosmas Zulu from Highlanders he's also from the national team a lot of you football fans you know him very well as a footballing legend but there are a lot of other things that we don't know about Cosmas Zulu that's why we are here to talk through to to let him take us through his the footballing journey his life right from the beginning welcome there. Thank you, Louis. <laughs> That's <laughs> having you in Bruyne. <laughs> you know, no, 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 you see, <laughs> do, 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 do you know what? You see? Yeah. Because it's important yeah. uh, to cover the whole of Zimbabwe, <clears throat> yes, yes. all the legends. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is a good um, initiative from Nyarazo. We have to thank Nyarazo, yeah, you know, yes. to come up with this kind of a program. Because, uh, yeah, because what happens is, uh, you know, there are a lot of legends who go to their graves with all the information yeah. which the future generations won't know. Yes. So to me personally, I want to thank Nyarazo for this kind of a program, Louis. Yeah. And um, I'm Cosmas Tanazulu. You see, I'm called the only man who dreams in color. In color. See, when I talk <laughs> about uh, uh, dreaming in color, mm -hmm. it's not just black and white or red and white. Is Average men see things as they are and say why. I dream of things which are not there and say why not. Yes, yes. Yes, I was yes, I was born in Mashaba in a small town called King's Mine. Do you know King's Mine? Yeah, I've it's next to Guest Mine. My it's father, still King's Mine. Yeah, it's, it's still there. So there. Come on, man, with you. What, what do they that's, mind? That's uh, 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 asbestos. Oh, it's still asbestos. Asbestos, as well. yeah. King's oh. mine, Guts mine, uh, uh, and Temeria Mashaba. All those three mines oh, is asbestos. asbestos. Oh, okay. And uh, that's why I was born. I was born at Guts mine. There was only one general hospital, which is Guts mine. Yeah, yeah. That's why where I was born in 1953, you know. And um, my father got some pension, you know, after working for years in that uh, mine, and uh, he got to, we went to Mount Darwin, you know, next to Karanda Hospital. Okay. Yeah, That's yeah. where the homestead was. And um, it was in 1965, or 64, 65, 60. And then I went to a school called Chironga. That's where I did my primary. And um, during that time, Louis, you know, when I was in Mashaba, I used we used to play soccer at school. That's why my my talent was noticed there. Eh? Mm -hmm. And uh, in primary school, yeah, primary in school. You know, you know, from grade uh, six or five. You oh, know, okay. they yeah, used yeah. to play. We used to play some games there. Which but, school uh, did you say you went to? Into, uh, King's Mine. King's Mine. Yeah, but uh, that was King's yeah, Mine primary school. Yeah, primary school. But uh, um, when you know that time there was uh, sub A, sub B, standard one, standard two, standard oh, yeah. two to standard six was done as Gates Mine, which is about eight kilometers. I used to walk from King's Mine to to Gates Mine, mm. you know, for, for standard four, standard five, standard six, you know, and um, I used to play soccer there. But uh, when my father got the pension, when he retired, we moved to Mount Darwin. And uh, in Mount Darwin, you see, you must understand, during that time, there was no junior football we were talking about, you guys. You know, people were just going through, the ranks and um, 1966, my sister, you know, I've got a picture here, just says she's here, and mm. um, she was married to a woman bus driver mm. called Nyambia, he was from Rosape. Woman oh, bus driver? Yeah. In what? Where, where? Here, in, in Bulawayo. Oh. You know, our uh, Rhodesia Omen bus company. Oh, yes. At that, yeah, that time, bus. you know, yeah. and uh, he was a driver. My sister came home. To Mount Darwin, when he got, she got home, she found that I would lost a lot of weight, eh? and she asked my mother, "What has happened to Cosmas?" And uh, my mother says he doesn't want to eat uh, 
this kind of relish with no cooking oil and no tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, listen here, yeah, I'll take him to Blue Air. Yeah, yeah. That's when I came to Blue Air in 1967. Where there's cooking oil? Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> where there's cooking oil and the tomatoes, you know. And yeah, the, no, no, no. <laughs> you know, because I loved, yeah. I loved my food. You, you loved know? the food, yeah. yeah. So that's how I came here to Blue Air. Mm -hmm. And, um, what grade, what standard were you in? No, standard six. I finished standard, standard six. Oh, you finished standard now. six. Okay, yeah. yeah. You know, I couldn't go further because my old man uh, uh, was retire, retired. Uh, I couldn't go for yeah, my yeah. Uh, secondary education, mm. you know. And um, there I was here. And uh, just after two days, my sister took me to Baba Field Stadium, you know, yeah. those outside grounds. Oh, yeah. She, yeah, she caught the When they still had grass. Yeah, 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 it was, it was grass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, because yeah. during those years, the rains were, you know, the rains patterns were so good that uh, all the grounds, you could get some green grass. So when I got there, you know, she said to these other guys, listen, I've got my brother who can play soccer here. Yeah. And the guy said, tell him to come in. I changed, yeah. I went Who there. was training there? There was a team called Combined Midlands. Combined? Combined Midlands. Okay. Combined no, those Midlands. were those okay. were teams, you know, yes. in the in the buffer. Yeah, yeah. And that time you see the buffer, you know, there was Red Army. Okay. You know, yeah. where it could be picked in Red Army. There yeah. was the Yellow Perry in, in Salisbury. I heard about was, Yellow yeah, Perry. Yes, yeah. In Salisbury. Yeah. There was Red Army here. There was another uh, uh, team in Zambia. So those regional teams used to meet uh, mm -hmm. and play. And uh, when I went into the pitch, the guys saw that I was a good player. How but old my, were you then? I was 17. 17 uh, yeah. and, but okay. my problem was language. <coughs> I couldn't yeah. speak Ndebele at that time. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, as a man guy, a guy from uh, Mount Darwin, I used to say, Sano, Sano, Dipasi, <laughs> Sano, Sano, Dipasi. Uh, because you, see, you didn't know the name of the name, you see, Sano, and the, Sano, Sano, you know. Like here, Blas, like you, Blas. No, yeah, yeah, no, Sano, yeah. in this country, in, the, in this part of the world, yeah. in the Iswari. Iswari. Yeah, yeah, Iswari. Azanzi, yeah. 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 yeah, so mm. that's how the name Sano came from. The At 17? At 17, yeah. It came. Tano because now you're calling everyone Tano, you no, know, because it, it became your name. It, it, it became my name. <laughs> you see, it uh, became my name. You see, uh, that's how the Nick. But then, after playing for Combined Midlands, it was strange. I was selected to play for for Red Army. Okay, when you played the the first day, as you remember, the yeah. time. That's when you were selected, they decided that no, you, no, you come no, to the No, no, we we'll play yeah. some games after ah, a while. Ah, I'm going to do jamba jamba. No, 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 so yeah, yeah, no, yes, no, I do understand. Mm. You mm. see, but uh, I'm saying to you, you know, you you don't just uh, get there on Sunday and then go into a select side. Yeah, we yes, want to know. Yeah, how, yeah then how, how after I think there? a couple of 10, 6 games, 20, a few, 10 games or so, there was a select and I was selected to play the, in the Red Army. You know, those games could come after a while. But mm. then... Who did you play against here? Yeah. Yeah, who you play against? It was called BAFA, Bulawayo African Football Association. Okay, yeah, like which Sandafa. other teams? Yeah, which yeah, other teams? Know, were there were a lot of teams, uh, to be mm. quite honest, you know, combined Midlands. You know, there were a lot of them. It's a long time now, you know. And, mm. um, you know, in that league. And then, um, after that, I went in and... Um, played for Bushbucks. Bushbucks was a sister club to Mashona United, which is Zimbabwe Saints now. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And that team was being managed by the late Dr. Osho Kunze, who was the chairman of, of, of Mashona United. He had two teams? He had two teams. No, he, he, the other side was a chairman. But he, is, he had his own his team, own club, his own club, <coughs> Bushbacks. Bushbacks, which was more of like a, a feeder to a feeder to, 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 to oh, Mission okay. United, you know. Yes. And I played there, you know. I'd guys, you know, uh, love Muma Chingauta, you know, and um, Charles. Um, he passed away now. Now, you know, Charles Wadao, okay. you know, you know, we played together in that team. It had some very very good players, right? and then. Um, after that, um, I was um, bought by a team called Eastlands for six pounds, which was a lot of money. 
Six pounds. Six pounds. Yeah. In today's money, how much do you think it can be? Yeah, uh, it could have been. Uh, I think uh, because the value of a pound. Yeah. I remember people working in the factories. They were earning seventeen and six, which was less than a pound. But you could buy groceries. Okay. You could buy school fees. Buy pay school fees for your kids and everything. Yeah. 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 With seventeen and six a, a week, came, people used to be paid weekly. Seventeen and six yeah, was seventeen cents. No. Seventeen cents. It was, it was like a dollar seventy-five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But now it used to be called seventy. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. And uh, I still have got some pennies here. Yeah. Okay. After the interview, in yeah, future yeah, time, I'll show you the, wanna, those wanna, kind of money. At, yeah. You know. You know. And. Um, when I went to to Eastland, that's the time when uh, you know Daniel Dididi, mm. you know Tamon Mubaleka, you know, and all those were playing together. Daniel Mubi. Yeah, Daniel Mubi. Yeah, Dididi. Yes, he was playing for Eastland. For Eastland. Yeah, Eastland was. Oh, was, Dididi was from here. He was from here. Before he, was, he went to Dynamo. Before he went to Dynamo. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was a striker here. Yeah. And Tamon Mubaleka. And Tamon Mubaleka was the journalist. He, 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 no, no, he's he, not. Was a, a, oh. a, a, a record producer. Oh, yeah, yes. yes, yes, Tamon Mubaleka. Yeah, because yeah. Tamon Mubaleka, when he was playing for Eastlands, there was a, a gentleman called Wilson uh, um, Fumajena. He was a secretary. He was working for Gallo. Gallo Records. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when he, he got a job for Tamon to work uh, oh, for Gallo. Yeah. And through the ranks, he was promoted until... Then he moved from here to, to Arare. Mm. See, so the likes of uh, the DD, Eastlands was one of the biggest teams here and Blue bigger than Islanders. See? Uh, yeah. You see, it was it had a bigger following. Yeah, and it's used. But to that be, was before Islanders was formed. No, 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 no. Islanders was there. Uh, Islanders. Uh, uh, it didn't start as Islanders. It was Lions. Oh. It used to be called Lions. Lions. Yeah. Okay. You know, and yeah. uh, you see. When Highlanders, uh, there were a little uh, of white guys who came from overseas who were sponsoring uh, uh, who came to Spanish Lions, and they changed the name to Highlanders. You know, that's how they became Highlanders. Or oh, the, the guys who were sponsoring. Yeah, you know, giving the name <coughs> like the Highlands in, in in Scotland. You see, that's how it came. And there was a team here called. Um, mm, Go. No, no, wait a minute. Pines, Pangapena, Tim Zagamunzi, Matebele, Highlander. No, the National Land. Yeah, no, I'll come to that. Yeah. I'll come to that. I know you. I'll come to that. And then there was a team, there was a team here called Pirates. Mm -hmm. You know, to used to work, uh, to wear black and white, black. Uh, it was one of the well supported teams here in Bulawayo. And uh, here at Kelly's here, there was a very big. Um, um, no, it's uh, because of uh, decisions, and uh, the colonial government banned that team, eh? and that's why most of the supporters they now went to Mate to support Matebele Highlanders and Mashonaland and United. And uh, when after independence, you know the big guys, you know uh, the late uh, vice president. Uh, uh, over about Joshua Nkomo and uh, uh, the later um, President uh, Gabriel Mugabe, they took away these uh, tribal names and they said, we don't want Matabela Highlanders. It must be Highlanders, not Mashona United. And Mashona United now changed to Zimbabwe's hands. That's how it came because yeah. the, 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 the big guys didn't want these uh, uh, you know, yeah. tribal names yeah, because they, they, they could they, cause problems. Yeah, yeah. tribalistic. Yeah, so mm. that's how it happened. Then from um, um, Eastlands, I moved and I went to to play for Mashona United. Oh, you, you know, East, moved. Yeah. As you say Eastlands was big. Yes, yeah, see, it was why, big. Why, why did you no, move? No, I moved because, uh, yeah. you know, I could see there were, good, you know, a lot of, of my friends. That time, there was not this business where you, you get transferred, you know, letters. You mm -hmm. could just go to a club. You just say, no, I, I don't want. I don't want, I want to go and but play. But my team was six pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Yeah. After that, I moved to Zimbabwe Science. That's mm -hmm. when I played with the likes of uh, Andrew, you know, 
Uh, Freeman, Andrew? Andrew, Andrew uh, Kadem. Kadem, we are. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, Freeman Dangaremba, William Swanda. You know, the that was a strong team. Yeah. Yeah. No, yes. Uh, that time we went for about 22 games unbeaten, eh? Mm. 1970, 79 or so. So I played for Science, and, but uh, during that time, you know, I couldn't, I was not. Uh, much uh, regular because there was a lot of good players in yeah, that team. Yeah, that team, that team was good. Yeah. yeah. So um, I left uh, uh, um, uh, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe Sands and uh, I went and joined the Highlanders. And during that time, it was a taboo, you know, way to, 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 go to, move, to move to go across. But I did it. Why know, did you do it? Because uh, I wanted to show people that in sports, we mm. don't talk about. Uh, you know, tribal issues. Yeah. You know, you build uh, friends from anywhere. Yeah, yeah, Football yeah. is yeah. supposed to unite people. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I moved, Louis, to there. And from mm -hmm. there, a lot of people said, players started moving. I also from team going to play for. So you Friday. opened. I opened. You, the, you opened the, the doors. The doors, you know. Because yeah. 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 you see. Ah, but was, uh, you know, like like I always call myself. You know, you see. Because <laughs> do you know why? <laughs> you also dream in color. No, no, yeah, yeah, but hey, you cannot. But, but, but you see, do you know why I say that? Baba yeah. Angu, you see, yeah. Munyasarand, yeah. my Angu Mushona. So I'm yeah. colored. Yeah. <laughs> ah, mixed. Yeah, mixed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's just go for a break. Let's, <laughs> just gonna go, we're, yeah. we're just going to go for a break. Let's yeah, go for a break and drink some water. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you come back, we carry on. We want to take it yes, off when yes, you join yes, Highlanders. Yeah, that's that's yeah. when you're going to take it yeah, off yeah, when you come yeah, back for yeah, the second yeah, segment. Yeah, yeah. Guys, we're just going to go for a break. When yeah. we come back, we talk more yeah, with yeah. the colored man. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 so he's colored. That's a mixed Yeah, Don't move away. Interesting story. Guys, we are talking to Cosma Zitano Zulu, the former Highlanders, former Eastlands, former Highlanders, former Zimbabwe Saints. We are right here. Contours, they are too blow That's where we are. Don't move away. We'll take in a moment. Thank you. Losing the person I loved the most was one of the hardest things I've ever had to face. And because I was away from home, it made it much more difficult. That is when I saw how important it is to have a friend. A friend to ease the burden. A friend to take care of things when you can't. A friend to help you get home. Yes, so welcome back. We have got Cosmas Tano Zulu in the studio. We're going for the second segment. We are at a very exciting first segment of the show. Now that's a group of part in this show. But before we get into the second segment, guys, we just want to remind each other that please go to our Facebook page and like the page Zim Sokanet. Also go to our YouTube channel, like the channel, and then also subscribe to the channel so that we can always interact with you whenever we've got some features on those uh, platforms but back to the story we yeah. are we are here yeah now you have now joined highlanders i joined highlanders uh, in 1980 um, yeah the first thing you know what happened there uh, louis mm. the first time to have a red card in my career we're playing an um, independence trophy at rufaro okay Okay, before before you get you get there uh, about Highland, you moved from is it, is it, from uh, Zimbabwe to, to, Highlanders. to Highlanders. How yeah. did that happen? Did you decide yourself you that I'm I'm going to I'm Highlanders, going to Highlanders, Highlanders and pack yeah. your bags? Yes, you sir. didn't contact anyone. No, did you no, contact? no. I just, Highlanders said uh, train that time. You know that time we used to train at um, um, Gwenja. There's oh, a Gwenja. called a, a ground called Gwenja, yeah. and that time. It was coached by Lawrence Peary. Yes, yes. He was a player coach. You know? Okay. And um, 
So you just they packed your bags? Yeah, I you just didn't call him. No, no. I'm going to say one more phone. 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 I'm going to say And then yeah. um, there was, and if I tell you, mm. I used to have a guy called Austin Chuma and uh, another old man called Bebe. Because mm. that time, it was not full time football there. Eh? Okay. We yeah. used to go, I was working for Dunlop. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I worked for Dunlop for 28 years where I ended up being a production manager. Mm, mm. You see, I was a production manager. I think you've seen my certificates there. Yeah, yeah. And, and these two guys, when we were they actually encouraged me that please, uh, Cosmos, can you go and join our team Islanders? Oh, yeah. that's so, what made you yeah, like, decide. Yeah, just decide, yeah. <laughs> then you picked your bag. I, I packed my, ga- my bag, yeah. You went to training? You went to training. I you mean, I just that, trained, I just trained, yeah. You, so you said, just oh, get okay, there. So I want to yeah. join yeah, the Yeah, there was no, like, like registering the, the forms, what you're doing. There were no forms at that yeah. time. You just trained. You just trained. Oh, thank you. Thing. Yeah, thing. yeah, then you train. And the, the next thing you play for a team, eh? <laughs> we, we didn't have all this, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, uh, inspection before the game. We want to see the license no, no. and all that sort of thing. As long as you don't take a kid, that's okay. You, you know? play. And um, there I was, you know, I played with the Tamil Mabaleka, you know, you know, Mark Watson, you know, uh, late uh, Augustine Lunga. You know, Zenzo Moyo, you know, a lot of... And then, there was a Zenzo Moyo also? Um, I mean, Zenzo Dabengwa. Oh, yeah, Zenzo, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, Zenzo Moyo, I cost him. But Mark Watson, yeah. I'm interested in Mark Watson. I used to, you know, I used to, when I was when I was a, a kid, even yeah. before I went to school, yeah. I used to cut my pictures. Yeah, yeah. A, a football. Was, yeah. Uh, Jita, that sort it's of thing. Yeah. He, he, he used to fascinate me. Yes, he was. Mark Watson, he was, he was the white guy. He, yes, he was playing as a striker. We, 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 were striker. we were twin strikers, him and me. Where was you? Him. Yeah, it oh, was okay, him, yeah. him. You, you know, you know, you know I was what called Thunderbolt. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Before Peter Nyam. Yeah. Before, no, after, after, Peter after Peter Nyam. Mm. My goal was scored. It's unfortunate now, you know, because of the history of uh, football. Because, uh, you know, I played, I also played for Olympics, uh, a team which break away from Islanders. Oh. With Barry, with the standing neck and everybody. Oh, yes, like yes. what I said to you earlier on. Yeah, you no, know, the you, history you, 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 you the history you, is too much. You eh? tell her, you tell yeah, us yeah, more. tell about you, you, that. Mark Watson. Yeah, Mark Watson mm. were twin strikers, eh? We played together. Very, very um tricky, you know, very clever striker with a lot of uh, trickery in the box, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, the guy could turn <clears throat> on a sixpence. Do you know a sixpence? Well, uh, <laughs> you see, a sixpence mm. was a coin. A eh? coin. Yeah. It was small. Was small. And you would turn. You, you, you could turn on there. On the coin. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you had people yeah. like time in uh, Mabaleka. Mm. You know, they used to call him White Horse. They let time on Mabaleka. Yeah. The guy could spring, yeah? Jump, you know? You know, you know when you, do you know a tambourine? A yeah, tambourine. Yeah. 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 You see, that's the spring. Yeah. You know, yeah. no, tambourine where you jump and go up oh, there. Yeah. You know, he had that kind of a spring, yeah? And, you know, heading, heading you know, with the down. jack, uh, you know, what you call jack knives. Those are the players uh, who play yeah. together. Now. Is Mark Watson still alive? He's still alive. He's here in Blue Air. He's here in Blue Air. Yeah, yeah, he's here in Blue Air. Can you get him? Can yes, you get yes. to talk to him? Yes, you talk to him. I'll look for him. This is no interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love to talk yes, to him. No, 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 you yeah. need to talk to him. Eh? Yeah, he used got, to fascinate I've got, me. I've got his pictures, yeah. When yeah. I was playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to fascinate him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, he was a good player, you know. And then... 1980, we went into to a cup final with a, a Dynamo. Yes, you told me the independence. Yeah. Independence, yeah. See, Dynamo scored uh, about two goals, uh, you know, which uh, everybody thought were offside. At Rufaro Stadium. At Rufaro Stadium. And they, the late uh, uh, President uh, Mugabe and uh, uh, President uh, Late Canon Banana, they were uh, there watching, were watching that game, the game, you know. Yeah. And uh, some of my players, of Highlanders walked out of the pitch, you know. Oh. Yeah, because Valdemark was the Frank Valdemark was the, was the yeah. referee, you know. One of the best referees. You no, know, yeah. yeah, yes. Yeah. You know, and um, because me, you know, Louis, to be quite honest, yeah. I want to win the game honorable yeah. and lose honorable. Mm-hmm. I said to the guys, "Come on, guys, we've got some dignitaries here watching this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back and." And play. play. So I walked onto the pitch personally and I went and stood on the on the ball to set the game. And Dynamo's guys 
were they? And Voldemort said to me, can you start the game? Alone. Alone. So I said, <laughs> how do I start the game when other players are outside? Yeah, outside yeah. The next thing, he gave me a red card. He said, you lied. I'm telling you. This was the first red card in my career to get. For encouraging he, your teammates to play? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I went out and the other guys came in. And after <laughs> that, I was actually yeah. suspended for life. You know, for what? suspended for life. That, what did you say? What did you want? What was the verdict? What? No, nothing. You see, because that uh, you're given a red card uh, during when the dignitaries were there watching the game. You know, that stoppage time. Anyway, after a while, my executive, uh, my team appealed and it was uh, taken off. You know, and uh, I started playing the game again. Who, who, had, who had banned you for like Zifa? Zifa, yeah. Who was, the, who, was, who was the chairman? I, and at that time, I think it must be oh, Chiro. Nelson Chiro. Nelson Chiro, yeah. You know, but... You uh, were going to say and die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. then it was in, you know, and uh, I played. Then 1983, at Highlanders, there was a guy, a gentleman, a coach called Bobby Clark. Yes, I know Scottish Bobby Clark. guy. Yeah. He came here to coach Highlanders. When he came here, he... Lawrence Peary was the player coach. So the executive wanted somebody to understand this coach, uh, Scottish coach. He mm -hmm. was actually a goalkeeper in the Scottish uh, 1978 World Cup mm -hmm. squad. For any other reason, uh, Lawrence had some misunderstandings with the, with the executive and he stopped uh, 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 coaching. So Bobby Clark appointed me to be to understand him mm. and coaching, Louis, let me tell you sometimes. From from uh, yeah, uh, why yeah. why did he choose you yeah. when he first arrived? Did yeah, you know yeah. you from? No, from you see, before? listen here. I, I was playing that time. Yeah. Yeah. When he came, I was playing. He was coaching. I was playing. Oh, but okay. I was now about thirty-three or so. Okay. And oh, then that's when he had a misunderstanding yeah. with. Uh, yeah, I mean Lawrence Perry and uh, Bobby says I want uh, Cosmos to understand me, but I was so angry that. The, why does he want me to understand him? I still want, I still to, want play. to play. Yeah. I'm stupid, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. knowing the guy was uh, going to to make me one yeah. of the best coaches in the country. Mm -hmm. So one morning, we used to come at Holiday Inn, you know, and uh, after breakfast, uh, we used to walk into the park, Sentinel Park there, and he stopped me, said, Cosmos, listen here. He looked me into his eyes, into my eyes, and said, I've got the money. I didn't come from Scotland for money for in Zimbabwe. Money, yeah. I came here because I want to leave my knowledge to somebody, and I think you're the right man for me to leave the knowledge. Mm. And when I looked at his eyes, I realized the guy really wants to, to give me the knowledge. Mm. That's when I started, you know, getting some notes on everything he was doing. He was doing, And yeah. I still have got some, even the, the line-ups here, you know. Which, so I understood uh, Bobby. He was a very good coach. Well, you still playing? Yeah. No, I was no more playing that time. Oh, then I was, was assistant now. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, I can tell you, he's the guy who started teaching us to do junior policy. Okay, wait, that. How did you retire? I retired when he, when he, when he, when he, he appointed me to, to be his assistant. Oh, I then you stopped stop, 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 oh. straight away. Okay. I, right. stopped, I stopped playing that straight okay. away. And yeah. I was his assistant. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. You know? In 1983, we went and uh, we had a very big um, problem there. Because that's the time when we started promoting the Willard Kumado, Nesai, you know, Namo Shambira. Oh, we took about nine boys from our under 18 junior policy. Well, you, you, at, at first, at first, you said that time the, 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 there was no junior policy. No, no, no. When yeah, I was when playing, the, yes. when I was playing, there was no junior policy. Yes, exactly. How when, how, how, yeah, how this, yeah. this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. When Bobby Clark came, yeah. he revived it. He started the, to, to make sure that the junior policy was looked after properly. See? So there was no junior structures when he came. The, the junior the structures, up? no, the junior mm. structures were there, but he gave us more knowledge 
to run a junior uh, okay. program. And, and who was running the juniors at that it's time? It's Alibaba. Well, he was still there he's that, a, that he's time. A, yeah. He's the guy who started the junior policy. He, he took it actually from a, a letter, one for support called uh, Mackenzie. Mm. You know, he passed away. And Kumado, one of the teachers, he also passed away. Mm. That's, those are the guys. But what I'm saying from Bobby, we got this postmanship, which was called Hang Ten. Hang Ten, yes. Yeah. I, 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 no, I, I, the, I won't say that. So Bobby said, yes. give us information how to put structures in. Yes. But okay. The most important man there was Ali. Yes. Dewey. Because Ali Dewey, Louis, the guy has got an eye for talent. The boys playing the. Son, um, fan alo ano ya lazi por alo. Lo ya lazi por asma cha cha ba fan lab. But you know, from now and for sure, I think fan aka we so one to play. So Ali played a very big role in all the legend of Islanders. You want to know? We want to know. We let Kumado, we want to know Matinda, we want to know all all those legends. You know, they all came from Ali. Isusu na beri, unaza. Tacha ungo tora sisi zo polisha, but the real man who made us could tuwa ni matropiza. Yeah, Ali Dove. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes it's nitty gang. That, like you said, the eye for talent. Sometimes it's not really about being a very good coach and coaching them and 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 and. It's about getting those boys together. Yeah, that's true. That's true. To find them wherever they are. Yeah. To put them in one yeah. place. Yeah. That is actually a skill it, on its own. It is. It to is. actually identify and put it them is. together. It is. It is. You see. Then you guys, then you must well, bigger, must get things. Just and out. Yes. And you're getting <clears throat> like what I say. Let me tell you. Yeah. I've got to tell you. Even now, even everybody knows. Even when I meet him, I'll do it. I, I give. Credit to that man for everything I've achieved in football, because yeah. he was giving us talent. Me and Barry Tucker, yes, who, who that was talking about that. Yeah, yeah. Early eighties. Yeah, early eighties. Yeah. Best one I will add. Let's will as me see this. So, but then Bobby Clark, he gave us uh, a way to get talent. Every yeah. week when we were playing at home, mm -hmm. our reserve side was playing one of the schools. Surrounding Bulawaya for us to identify what talent. That's uh, where I got to Dumisan in Yoni. That's where uh, I got some of those players. So yeah. we're playing all the secondary schools here as catch and raisers. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's yeah. how we're getting talent here in Bulawaya. You see? But all that coming from Bobby Craig, say, Cosmos, choose because that time. Is an assistant to to Bobby. I was the one coaching the reserve side, and now, you know, uh, recommending the boy to go to the first team, and using the same program, the same team talk, which Bobby Clark was doing during the, you know, into the first team. Because what is important in football? That's why now we're having a big problem, Louis, in football. It can be the executive. It can be the groundsman. It can be anybody in the setups. You must support the coach's philosophy. If you don't support the coach's philosophy, you have problems. Eh? Hence, us at Highlanders in the 80s, we achieved a lot of things because the philosophy we have everybody supported that philosophy mm, mm. you see which is different now you see so i coach who had problems were being beaten one zero when we promoted the wheeler the you know the when oh, said, oh, but the saga alibaba i coach my junior yeah very good strategy. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you see what was happening was program here early. Yeah, 
So he says, he was doing what you want him to do. So when the boy comes from Ali, he knows exactly what to come and do in the reserve in side. side. He knows exactly yes. to what to go and to do in the first team. And yes. you see, there are situations whereby people like, when I, you know, Adam, Peter, and when we were coming from under 18, we used to pick uh, three or four boys, travel with them even to Harare without them even playing. Yeah. Just for them to listen to the team talk. So by the time he, he comes into he the first he, he he knows exactly what is needed, you know. This is that are, it's not rocket science. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not a, rocket science. Yeah. This is this is yeah. what every club should be doing. It should be doing. In the country. Every club. Every club. All over the country. He, 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 every he, top flight club, division yeah. one club, division two club yeah. should be doing exactly the he, same thing. You see, Louis, you must understand. The biggest problem, why now football, you know, the attendance has gone down. <clears throat> you see, if you watch some of the pictures here at the back here, you see people watching people climbing some floodlights, eh? You're watching football. Watching, watching football. Eh? Yeah, because people could come in in the morning at Baba Fields, watch the under 14, under 16, under 18, reserve side, First team. first team, five games, games in one, in Day. one. You see, it's worth paying five dollars. Yes. You see, it's not it's a match day. It's a match day. This entertainment. Yeah. You see, people could come with, with some lunch boxes, you know. Yeah. And what? Because a parrot could come because he wants to see his under 14. Under, under son, uh, his, his son, his son, his son, his son, his uncle, see, yeah, yeah. who and, want to come and, there and, see and, their nephew and, play. Yes. And, and yeah. those boys were inspired to play around thousands of people watching them. Unlike now. And they also watch. They, they also After watch. they finish. They, they, they are in the stands. They are they're also watching, watching the, the, the first team. Yeah. And you'll be like, I, I also, wanna, I also want to, to play there one day. You're right, eh? Yes. You get the people like Gifty Senior, yeah. you know, Conjera. I've got some videos here. It's Kumbuz on their belly. Mm. You know, I've got it when they were playing under 14. Eh? Yes. You know, before I, I pushed them to, to the reserve side and the Mercedes and to the first team. You see, but Louis, the biggest problem is the administrators of football in this country. They don't want to research. They don't want to ask questions. <laughs> that, that statement, the administration of football in the country, they do what? They don't want to research. Yeah. And they don't want to? To ask questions. Ask questions. Could you, and, they on, also, and they also, sometimes they also don't want to listen. You see, you, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> Tessa Louis, Tessa Louis, you see, you must understand one thing. There's a quote here from the Kenyans which says, dying of an old person in a village is like burning a library. The quote, the quote is good. <laughs> dying of an old man yeah. is yeah. like the burning of a library. library. Yeah. Guys, on the burning of the library, we're just going to go for a break. When we come back, we want to dissect that quote. Someone's going deep. Talk with a little bit, guys. Put more little bit, guys. Don't move away. We are back in a moment with Cosmos Zulu. You're the group powering this show. Mm. Don't move away, guys. We are back. Oh, my sister, Mata Boss, how are you? I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. I want And also, don't forget to get a Sawira International plan today. Nam plan. Yes. <laughs> Yeah.
<laughs> yes, guys, welcome back to the last segment of the show. We have got Cosmos Zulu in the studio telling us about a whole lot of things, information, gallop that we have got here. We've got a moving library, a moving mm. football library, a moving mm. football encyclopedia mm. right here in the studio. Mm. Nyanazo Group brought this man here. And he's... Let me tell you, you see... Tawari. Ndoku Tawari. Iwe woka figwa no mwana na asi. Muno untanga kufunga kuti azive ndia kumusha. Asi baba wa kumundara. Yeah, Unu tu, unumpa munu maali kuna utola mjara kupi yeah. kumusha kuya wa kuzo kutaura kutilui Kuzo kutaura kutilui Kuzo kutaura kutilui Baka kutaura unumzo uchili yeah. Uchili kutikana yeah. This is what administrators in this country must understand That their people who have been there before Who know how things are done And they must come and ask, research they say, you ask, you are going to be stupid for five minutes. You don't ask, you are going to be stupid for the rest of your life. Yes. This is why football is dying now. Because people don't want to ask about yesterday. They don't want to research. They don't want to research. And hence even in the Bible, it says in Proverbs, a nation without vision will perish. There's no vision in football now. You're just playing for today. Just you're just playing, play, guys. You're just playing. No wonder we play again. The next day we play again. You no one wants to think about five see, years. You see, what, 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 we, this club, where are we going? Louis, what do you want to do in five Louis, years? I can in two, go, three, four Louis, years? What do you, I can, what, I can do you go, want to be? I can go on and on telling you the cost. Do you know a seed called bamboo? Yeah. A bamboo seed you put it down here, it takes seven years to come out. Eh? When it comes out, it takes six weeks to be 90, mini, 90 meters tall. People in this country, administrators actually in the whole of Africa, the administrators, they don't have the patience. They don't want to put to down the bamboo tree. The bamboo things. tree. Yeah. You see? You put it down, five, but when it comes out, nobody, this is the same thing we're doing at Islanders. We, we, we're creating bamboo, but when it comes up, people see there's Mercedes, there's Willard, and people wonder. Because during that time, the administrators in Islanders had the patience to develop. But now, a lot of people, they won their win yesterday, which is impossible. They don't give the coaches the time to build, to develop. We need to develop, Puloi. You see, if we, we have to realize football, good football in Africa, not only in Zimbabwe. You take, for instance, during that time, we used to have provisional squads, you remember? Yeah, we played there. You see, <coughs> and you get your your national team coach to come there. There's hidden talent in this country which people don't want to see because nobody, everybody's taking a shortcut into football. You don't need that. I remember, I remember this provincial, our squad. You know, we, 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 were, we were a strong squad, yeah. remember, our, our junior squad. Yeah. We first went to uh, Zushalani. Yeah for the provincial select yeah. under 17. Yeah. We played the provincial tournament under 17 and the coach, the national team coaches yeah. were there, Steve uh, Steve, uh, Steve uh, Piri yeah. and Fred yeah. Mkwesha yeah, yeah. and Ashton Yazika. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they selected 50, yeah. 50 from across the, the country. country. 50 boys. We went into camp at the New Serum. I'm not yeah. the New Serum. Yeah, no, no, no. That's that's I, used to, I used to get my, in the, yes. I mean, uh, the junior national team. Yes. Right? But let me say, Louis. Because you are guaranteed. Louis, mm. let me tell you something, sir. If we have to develop a property, every pro province must have a, a, a provincial coach. Yes. Who goes around in that province, in that province looking only. for talent? Yes. In that talent, in, in that, that province. province only. There must be a setup of a provincial coach, assistant, goalkeeper coach. You know, 
Um, the whole technical the whole technical setup, whole technical for, setup every province. for every province. If we have to develop football. With his own director. With his own director. Who then answers to the to, technical, to, to national technical, technical director. director. You see, when yeah. all he does is he, he gets there. The next thing he, he formed the uh, um, Trekedi. Trekedi. Yeah. I've got uh, so and so we're boy. Doing we're, we're doing ABC, yeah. and Mtekedi goes around the country having meetings with, with those provincial with these, with these ten provincial technical directors. I'm telling you, we are going to get <laughs> talent in this country. Anyway, after coaching, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's so, about you now. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we carry on. Thank you for coming. Yes. taking us back. Yes. Yeah, we're taking, you know, we're taking us back to. to I the, coach to, now. To, yeah. After that, Bobby Clark went back to Scotland. And okay. the islanders yeah. appointed me to be a coach, and I told them publicly, I'm not as experienced to coach what? To be head coach. To be a head coach. Yeah. I got Barry because Barry will play together. He was my personal friend. I said, call him back. And, uh, Where you know, was he now? He was uh, with uh, Supersonic. Oh, you know, that, that was the yeah, breakaway yeah, team yeah, that went yeah. from uh, Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> and the executive said, We cannot have Barry here. The last time. I got tease, I got see a team. I got see a team. no, listen here. Bora no dar. Inina cannot coach. I need Barry back. And the club administrators in the Highlanders agreed. Eh? Who were they? Who were they? See, administrators? You know, with the, the late, um, you know, Mkwananzi, you know, in the, you know, a lot of uh, Gumedi was, was still in Arari, came that time as well. And uh, they were. But, yeah, listen, Barry said, Cosmos, we are going to use the same program, training sessions you were doing with who? Bobby Clark. Or well, you, 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 you prefer to remain the assistant? Yes, because I was not experienced. Yeah, okay. But let me tell you, uh, yeah. um, Louis, this is the biggest problem we're having now with the assistants in all these other uh, uh, coaches now. They want to take the job. They from want the, the job. Which is yeah. wrong. Eh? Very wrong. Look, I worked with Barry for Your job is to assist 15 the senior years, eh? team coach. 15 years, eh? Yeah. Barely. But he knew that I had the information. Mm. Even the players know that. Knew that the, that the, this training session the and uh, the time, eh? mm. But I still remained an assistant. And look at what we achieved. We won everything with Barry Jacker. You need that kind of unity in the technical department. I tell you, one which I don't can a chairman like a Sangana and I borrow a pair. But I'm say, ah, you know, she don't cook in the Nigi, but you call head coach as all right. That's it's it's totally wrong. It's totally wrong yeah, because you want to be an assistant yes. who can be trusted you by your own head coach. Yes, well, it's not a woman assistant. Oh. I got a coach again. I got out. Maybe he's not feeling hey, well. Hey, Went up for three weeks. Hey, leave. Oxy hey, the team. Hey, I'm not change the team is. Yes. Hey, Even the system. Hey, change the system. Hey, hey, I want a team out of the series. Shaman. Could you go at the following program? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, good coach. coach. But we're, I, come, yeah, that's we're coming back now where I was telling we've got to support the philosophy of what? Of the head of coach. Of the head coach. Yeah, yeah. You said it. Yeah. The Vapaya Pay, you know, and then um, we achieved everything. And uh, what did you achieve now? Let's go. Let's go. I, in the Highlanders, yeah, what I've been you, to what about 47 cup finals with the Highlanders. 47, 47 cup, finals. cup finals. I don't think I'm the longest serving in the Highlanders coach history and the most achieved coach in Highlanders history or yeah. even in the country. Is there any coach who has been there for 53, country, 53 cup finals in this country? Yeah. Is there any coach in the country? If it's there, Kanga Muruza or Okeira Komana. Uh, they got, they got 53 cup finals. What's this one? You see, it, 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 the road, road 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 road. Yeah. You see, you did. Told us about the castle where you are with some other mum katu. What's the page? You see, I see. That's a wonder. Some one. 1983. Yes, but look. Lions. Yes, Lions. 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 Club. I have no support. But no interest. Ma. Understand what we want one trophy out. Oh. Look at this one. You see, I see 1986 in April. You see, who just said, you see, in DP. Super League. Super League. Super League. Yeah. 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 Super League. Let me say this again. Brazil has got more than 120 million people population. 
Mm. Zimbabwe, we are only 15 million people. Brazil has got 20 teams. And Zimbabwe, Moria, you want to have 18 teams. Where the hell do you get <laughs> the talent from? <laughs> I've said it. We need 12. 12 teams. 10 yeah. or 12. Yeah. Look, in this kind. Yes. Look at the league. Yes. 12 teams. So look at the quality. Let's check. The four teams promoted, three were, were relegated. That tells you that zero uh, to Rama Fufu challenge. I've said we need Muno, we need the 12 Premier League teams, the 16 first division. Tell me, let me tell you, Louis. See, then my sponsors will get value for money. Yeah, in the, we yeah, got it's not only the sponsors and the players, go and, and even the coaches. All oh, these are the small teams, they were white, mutaru, white, white. You see, they're mm. bringing up recycled material. You see, you find a boy like a Chipo Toto who might coach the 20 years back still playing in the, in the Premier League. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> that is, yeah. 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 This one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Do you know, do you know my tips are short? Yeah, that yeah. one. We played the Islanders here at yeah. Papa yeah. Stadium. So we were expecting to see a but you had to see Peter and yeah, 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 everything. Yeah. Yeah. Then me, 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 man. Yeah. You took Peter along yeah. to, to a rally. To a rally. play this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good first team. Good first team. Yeah. yeah. Papa, I showed up now. Yeah, yeah. I was the run. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that's we, we celebrated. Hey, hey. We celebrated. So yeah. I know with this one. You, we went to Peter. Yeah. Uh, Peter Dynamo. Yeah. Ku National yeah. Stadium. Yeah. Even my daughter Peter. Yeah. Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Peter. Yeah. 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 Look here. Which one is this one? This one. There are boys here, Louis. I was so touched there. With these boys in London, in England, mm. they were not even born when I was coaching. The name back in Tumban. These boys are in Tumban, guys. Last year, so 24 December, they organized a tournament to honor me. Ah. They honored me, these boys, for being 55 years in football. I cried. Look, Louis, I coached the Islanders. I coached the Babu Sense. I coached the Mazur. I coached the Rosa. So many big. 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 So many do you, know, do, you know, do you know in this city, Louis, mm. I've caught more than 20,000 boys in my career now. Yeah? Mm. In my career now. Where no, they go? Do, yeah. do, tell me, you see, but I treasure this more than anything else here now. Okay, let's, let's get them coming. You, 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 let's, 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 let's hear them. Do you have a gift to Luga? Which one? My shorty, Pana Peter Fan, where I got one of Zoom. Gift to Nasir. Hey, good news. I got one of my shorty, Papa Chaman. Peter Fan, you couldn't see EOE, BP 1993. Chaman. Yeah. 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 You see, you see, Louis, you know, it's. Um, Keep them coming. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, uh, you know, that... Um, yeah, take off. That's, yeah, that's, it's uh, unfortunate that... that uh, uh, you know, so, yeah. Which one is the nice one? This one is the nice under one. 17, one under 17 national team when we qualified. Did you know how many Nana, Nana, Mr. Uh, 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 no, it's again that you go to Guinea. The first under 17 to qualify. Yeah. Hey, yeah. do you take a banner? Do you take a banner? You see? Ah, okay. Yeah, you see? Yeah, one is French, you see. I won't get you. Yeah, I'm going to figure out. I'm going to figure out. Yeah, you see. Yeah, yeah. You see? Which one is this one? Which one is this one? Somebody, I treasure this more. I bet you. Yeah. Do you know 1987? 
Do you understand that when I let Adam and Jovo, when I came and yet my injury say, and what's it? I beat 14 countries in Scotland eh? and won this tournament. They have a team. Yeah, yeah, but Bo that's why for the Namibia Republic, the picture. Don't go around there. Don't go around there. What for the Peter? Hey, Peter, like I said, after. After. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 1987. The twin of Bulawayo, the two men that came down from Sydney's Munyong was my captain. Mm. You know, Adam Jobo, mm -hmm. Nobel Zita, Makenya, Abraham, Abraham Bambo. But the whole team never told us we're going to be in the first team. We're going to be in the second team. They're going to Bambo. Yeah. The chief vow. Yeah. They're going to be Tora Basin. They're going to be in the first team. Do you have to go in a championship? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Sydney's Munyong. Abraham Bambo. Abraham Bambo. You know, Makenya, Nobesita, Diano Mofutu, and Dina, you know, do you know what's rubbish off? And out of those boys, when they came now, Kosari got two, some, all of them have died, eh? they are late oh, now, eh? yeah, which is a, a very sad thing. Sad. I've got the picture here, yeah. you know, and let me tell you, Louis, 1987, 14 countries I beat them, eh? Yeah. Barungu Dagawa, I can I beat this. Guys, for someone that ended up in war, they got poor major, you know, in a big war. Yeah. That's the time I thought my mother could be there when I was to a watch baby, to watch me being handed the mommy this look at me. You see, mommy, look at me, you know. Yeah. You see, but this is a problem. Those boys, yeah. Those are the boys because we a championship in 1990. Thailanders. Yeah, because those are those are the names. Those are the names. Kuluke Jojo. Kuluke Jojo. Oh, yes, Chanky. He's Chanky. He's left ah, now. Was, See, what, that, Chanky was yeah, my favorite. Yeah, this is this is yeah, your man. Super League Championship, 1990. Do you take the same boys. Yeah, the same boys. These two. Yeah, these two. The one is in Aberdeen. The one in Aberdeen. They came and won this. Bamboo tree. In three years later. The bamboo tree. The bamboo tree was growing. Was growing now. Nobody for the Castle Cup. Hey, hey, but the Castle Cup. It was a double, one a double. One a double. Bamboo. Hey, the bamboo tree. You see, Louis. I, I like this. Yes, I like this. Yes. This is under 17. You know? yeah. Yeah, this is under this team that yes. won the under 17 yeah. 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 Uh, tournament in yeah. Scotland. Yeah. And this is the same, same team, team that yeah. won the Super League yeah. in 1990. The same boys. The same boys. That group. Yeah, got them both. You, you know, yeah, Louis, it's, it's just unfortunate. Eh? This is the Peter Lowe who was so star of the year. Yeah. You see, do you know what is the uh, 1991 Peter? No, he won it twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, but let me tell you, Louis, until such time, you know, this hence I said, you know, a company like Nyarazo to come on this program, to me, it's a milestone. To me, I salute them because mm. there are people around this country who didn't even know about all this. All this that cost Mazulu uh, has been to more than 55 countries, a uh, cup final. He's coached all the big teams in this. Look where it took me, even in Gezi. I've been to two cup finals in Gezi. What is this one? It's Chibuku. It's, 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 it's Chibuku. You will see Chibuku. This, I, I've been to about four this five, is at Gezi two, now. Yeah. Four, five times, in, eh, eh, four times, five times in Chibuku Trophy Finals, eh? With yeah. Islanders, with the... Yeah. You see, Dara, mire, mire, mire. Yeah, 1984, I think it's a five. No, it's independent. And this is the five. 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 And this is I want that. that, that I, want, I wanted to talk about it. Yeah. I papa to talk about it. I want 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 to talk about it. Guys, if you're just joining us, we've got Cosmos Zulu here in the Sakatu Chakuna trophies in the cabinet. We have a big cabinet. We're looking, we are actually at his residence. Yeah. Yeah, this is where we are. We're talking to him about his football his football journey. And I'm intrigued by these things. Number one, number one to intrigue me is this the under 17. This is my passion. I'm passionate about junior development structures. And he is actually the man to take us through that because he lived. It, yeah. He walked it, and they won. They won this. Um, yeah, 
Yeah. Under, yeah. under 17, tournament in Scotland. Okay. Where the then they, when they countries. came back, they got put, they promoted yeah. these, these boys and, uh, 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 from the under 17 yeah. team to the first team, yeah. and they later on you went want on this. to win yeah. the Super yeah. League. That's independence the for that. For, That's for independent, this, yeah. For this, this nowadays, is the guys. Um, yeah. For this nowadays, yeah. they have the Premier Soccer League yeah. and the Super League yeah. uh, in, uh, during yeah. that time. Yeah. Or in Venice, yeah, yeah. I got this one. This one I won it three times. I've got this. I've got three of these. Yeah, I've got three of these also. Also. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Louis, you know, you see, you talk about uh, achieving all these things. Yeah. You see, achieving all these things. Yeah. You see, achieving all these things. You see, achieving it does not just come from the blues. It tells you that those guys who were administrating during our coaching time, they were prepared to listen. In a sense, they were prepared to support the coach. Who motivates the coach? If the administrators don't do it, yeah. I can tell you, when I was coaching Amazon, I could win a game. Mr. Lupepe, when he was in job, when he comes there, he brings me a suit. Eh? Mm. I could just see a suit coming with a driver at my place. Grand News Okupa is suit on a president. Tell me, shoot, they cannot change the training, Shama Runi, the Ogaita said. With a bounce. With a bounty! Yeah. But now, nobody more was the coach. The only thing we hear is after the game, talk to Zingai Baasai. Mukagiwa, you see. Yeah, all the time when they do this, you know, they used to what I'm hearing here. It's awesome, but time, time here and reappear. So we just, we just, we just, we, we just have to go. We have to come back next week again to yes. carry on. All right. We 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 left this here. It's halfway. The success. It's yeah, yeah. It's half. You see, we, you we have to come. We have, we have to come back no. to take it up from this success. Yeah. ありがとうございました。<laughs> Of Zimbabwean football about the development, and you also gave us some very quotable See, quotes yeah. that I, I really love. Yeah. You know, well, thank like you. Uh, thank if you if you thank if you, you, if you, if you an old man dies, it's, yeah, yeah. it's like burning a library. A, a library. You imagine and, now, Louis. And yeah, yeah. and it, the listening, it, the research, it's and a skill. all it's this. A skill. The, 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 all the you <laughs> see, listening is a skill. <laughs> listening is a skill, Louis. See, no, thank you very much. Listen again. You spend the whole year here, guys, coming because you won't feel. This is 55 years in football. We, we can, I we started can football, then. Louis, mm. 1967 at quarter past four. And now it's 20 past two. I'm still here uninterrupted. <laughs> 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 we'll come thank back you, next week thank you, and Louis. carry on. Thank you guys thank for you coming on. in. Yeah. Guys, uh, we've just run out of time. Yeah. We're exciting times yeah. with yeah. Cosmas Tano Zulu. Yeah. He got this nickname when he was yeah. still 17. Yeah. He still sticks. Yeah. He is still Tano yeah. to this day. We're just going to go, guys. Yeah. This is the end of our part one. Yeah, we have to come in yeah, for part two, yeah. where we take off from yeah. all the success you can see, yeah. all these trophies yeah. and everything. We will go all the way to this one in part two. Part two, we're going to end. We're coming back to this one. He was honored last week. Last By week, twenty fourth of December. Yes, twenty fourth of December. December. I mean, yeah. for fifty, for fifty, fifty for honoring is fifty five years, years in football. In football. Yeah. So we're gonna go through in part two. Yeah, through the years yeah. that will take us yeah. to this one. Yeah. fifty five years, no. guys. Come back next week and listen to Tang again. Thank that, you, Louis. Thank you, thank you for much. coming, we'll see, guys. We'll see, we'll see thank you for we'll coming, again. guys. Never I'm so group. happy. I'm Never so happy. Group. Thank you yeah. very much for supporting this show. My name is Alex Mujira. Come back next week with Cosmas Zuru in part two. Cheers, guys. Thank you.